Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage. This is part two of a video I made a while ago that was very, very successful called Avoid Mechanic Ripoffs, What is a Blown Head Gasket? Now, in that video, I talked about many things, but by far the most common comment on that video and tech messages that I have received was, will the stuff that you pour in your coolant reservoir seal a blown head gasket? And the answer is, it depends. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what that stuff does when you pour it in your coolant, what kind of leaks that will seal, what it won't seal, what it does or actually how it seals. And if you do determine that it's a blown head gasket, if you're gonna change it yourself, a couple things to watch out for and how to make it work for yourself. But first we're gonna talk about what does the stuff do when you pour it in your coolant? What will it fix? What will it not fix? If the coolant is leaking from the coolant passage into the combustion chamber, it's because possibly the engine overheated, you might have let it overheat, and this became weak and it started to fail right here. Or the, the coolant has become acidic and it can gradually eat away at the gasket and cause a leak path. And if you pour the bars or the gasket head gasket sealant in your coolant, what that does is it becomes plasticky or the liquid that you pour in your antifreeze or your coolant tank, it collects around this gasket right here and it tries to fill the crack or fill the void in the gasket, whatever, and prevent the coolant from leaking from here into here. That's what you're trying to do. That's why you have to follow the instructions very, very carefully on any head gasket sealant repair that you might buy at a store. If it's leaking from cylinder to cylinder, it's not gonna do anything. This is only gonna work for repairs where the coolant and the combustion chamber or the coolant and the cylinder, it, the leak is here. That's the only thing that's gonna fix. So if you have white smoke, you probably could fix it. If it's black or it's dripping to the outside, maybe, not the, the black, it's not gonna fix because that's cylinder to cylinder. But if you have a leak to the outside of the engine, there's not a lot of pressure there and there's a chance that, that the bar sealant or the sealant repair that you pour in your antifreeze could fix that. So all that's doing is collecting here, it's either stopping from the pressure from getting out into the uh, coolant passage or into the combustion chamber or in the piston, or it's preventing it from leaking to the outside of the engine and causing it to run down the side of the engine and ending up on the ground. This is why it's important to diagnose and understand what the failure is of the head gasket before you try and do any repairs. Is it trying to leak from the cylinder to cylinder, which you can't fix, there's no way to do that because there's no coolant involved. If it's leaking from a cylinder into the coolant cavity, since there's coolant involved, you could pour that stuff in the coolant and it would seal that. Or if the coolant is leaking to the outside of the engine, there's a chance that that kind of repair or the stuff you pour inside your coolant might work. The last kind of leak people ask me about is if they have oil in the spark plug well, or if you pull off the wire either on the side or on the top and there's oil down in the spark plug, if the oil is still looking like oil, meaning it's not milky, if the oil is sitting in there, there's a good chance it's a valve cover gasket. That's, these are the valves up here, the cover that goes on top, and there's a valve cover gasket. If it's leaking down the outside of that, it's just filling up the oil well. So if you do have that kind of leak, look around the outside of the engine and see if you can find the leak. It might be going down straight down the side here, or there could be oil leaking on the ground. But take a look for that because if you have a valve cover leak and the oil is leaking down, and someone tells you that you need a new head gasket, the difference in repairs is thousands of dollars. It could be a few hundred or several hundred dollars for a valve cover gasket, where it's gonna be thousands of dollars for a head gasket. So make sure you understand what's going on, where you see the fluid, what it looks like, and ask for some results. You need to have different tests. Remember the tests are compression tests for the cylinders to make sure they're not leaking outside or in between each other. The other test is the coolant test. There's a test strip you put in the coolant and it'll tell you if there's exhaust gases or gasoline present in your coolant system. If that's the case, the head gasket is leaking from the combustion chamber into your coolant path or into the coolant system. And if it pressurizes it, you'll see the bubbling in the reservoir. Those are the basic kind of leaks you're gonna have. Now I have the gasket here and the gasket is symmetrical. It doesn't say anywhere on this gasket, this side up, 
they, they're, they're virtually identical. So I'll put this on here and you can see, first of all, the coolant jacket here, this round hole, there's a slit for that. That just controls the coolant flow a little bit. And in the back, we look here, this in the back, this, this is a, a little larger than the hole. But that's okay, as long as it's not smaller. You don't want to have that restriction. So it looks pretty good. Gasket first. Now the cylinder head. So we gently set it in place. Get the dowels to line up. And just set it in place. Engine problems, specifically head gasket problems, can be very expensive. That's why it pays to understand what's going on with your engine, what could be going on with your engine before you get it fixed or after someone tells you you need a head gasket. That way you can ask some questions and understand. Now there is a chance that if you let your engine overheat or uh, something gets stressed, the cylinder head can crack. And if that's the case, oil could be leaking into your combustion chamber or into your cylinder causing black smoke. If it cracks where there's a coolant passageway, it could let coolant flow into your engine, turning milky brown. That can happen. The block can also crack. If the block cracks, there's a small crack and it's leaking coolant into your oil, that will cause it to turn milky brown. That's something you can tell yourself. If you pull the dipstick out and it looks like a chocolate milkshake on your dipstick, that means that there's coolant getting in the oil, it's emulsifying and it's turning into a milkshake. If you pull out your dipstick, and it still looks like oil, just dirty oil, and you don't have that milky look, that's a good thing. That means you're not leaking coolant into the oil, which is a good thing, but if it's leaking cylinder to cylinder, you're still gonna have to end up getting the gasket, the head gasket changed. But remember, this is the important thing. If you have a leaky head gasket, the fluids or the things that you put in your coolant to try and fix your head gasket are not going to work if it's leaking from cylinder to cylinder. It's only gonna work if you have white smoke and you have coolant either leaking to the outside of the engine or coolant leaking into one of the cylinders. That's the only way those additives into your coolant are going to help fix those kinds of leaks. I hope that helps you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. I try and answer all the comments. If not, someone else will certainly answer, and I appreciate everyone taking your time to answer those questions. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.